What's good, people? It's your boy, the Manox Beard Bro, back. Week 88. Still going strong. Beard looking nice. Let's freaking go. Yes, week 88. That means we've done this for two weeks in a row. <laughs> I haven't done that in a while. Uh, yeah, week 88. Here goes my results for week 88. Still growing. Under the chin, you guys never get a look down there. Um, how are you guys doing? Let me know in the comments below what week you're on, how long you've been going for, and why you started. So let's get into the video, all right? This is really gonna be for the newer guys who aren't aware of what DHT is, all right? You may be still looking to see if you guys actually wanna be putting minoxidil on your face, and so um, DHT is very important. So let's say you've applied your minoxidil, waited your three to four hours, took a shower, shaving up the beard a little bit, trimming it up, looking nice because you're ready to hit the town for that day. What are you gonna do about moisturizing your face, guys? And that's what we're gonna talk about today. So DHT stands for dehydrotestosterone, all right? It's the androgen hormone responsible for beard growth, all right? So why is DHT important? because there are a lot of different products that have DHT inhibitors in them, all right? Namely, facial moisturizer, okay? In past videos, I don't know if I've ever even talked about this, all right? In past videos, I've said, always moisturize your face after an application of minoxidil. So you apply the minox, wait three to four hours, wash it off, and then moisturize your face, all right? but um, not just any facial moisturizer, all right? Make sure it does not have any DHT inhibitors. The funny thing about the hormone DHT is it helps with facial hair, hair growth, right? But it does not help so much for the top of your head, all right? DHT actually causes male pattern baldness also. So that's why so many of these products have DHT inhibitors. You ever notice that a lot of bald dudes have be having full, full beards, you know? Damn! And I guess not all bald guys, but a lot of bald guys have some nice ass beards. I don't know if that's just like a, you know, you have a lot of DHT in you, right? So you have a nice beard, but you eventually start losing your hair up top. That's crazy. Um, I'm not saying that applies to everyone, but I've seen it. That's crazy. So, today we're going to be talking about some facial moisturizers that don't have any DHT inhibitors in them, all right? Some previous videos I've spoken about um, moisturizers that I use on my face, but I don't know if I've ever told you exactly why. The reason is they don't have any DHT inhibitors in them, thus promoting beard growth, okay? So let's check out the big mamma jamma right here, that Jamaican black castor oil, all right? No DHT inhibitors and actually really thickens your beard. It really does. I need to be using this more, honestly, okay? Get some more thickness in this beard because, you know, it thins out. I'm still going through a lot of shedding phases, so I have thick periods and thinner periods, but that will help maintain um, fullness and thickness and great, great beard health, all right? So let's get into a second very, very useful um, facial moisturizer. And that is jojoba oil, all right? So that's another uh, facial oil that has zero DHT inhibitors in them, all right? This will have your beard feeling super soft, all right? I use this more often than the black castor oil. Black castor oil, I'll use maybe twice a week because it's so thick and heavy and it really gets in your skin. Let that, let that, I was gonna say shit. Let that shit sit on your skin and feel the benefits. I don't feel like black castor oil needs to be used every day, um, but I do like to put on jojoba after every shower, um, especially if I'm going out somewhere. My beard is nice and soft for the day, all right? Then I wash that off, reapply my minoxidil, all right, wait three to four hours, wash that off, re-moisturize, and go to sleep, all right? Now, the amount that I use personally is, is just preference. All right, there's no real rules to which to use. 
um, but you do want to always have your beard nice and moisturized so use it on your own discretion you'll figure out what you enjoy to do I actually put up a website down below with a list of known facial moisturizers with DHT inhibitors in them all right just to help better help you guys understand what I'm talking about check that out and that's really all I have to say all right so number one rule is to avoid any kind of DHT inhibitors when it comes to your beard and your face all right and that's pretty much it cool so before I go we do have a new submission that was sent to me to Minoxidil Beard Pro at hotmail.com check this guy out let me get over here boom it's the boy Anas he didn't give me uh, his location that's one thing I do want uh, when you send in your submissions, let me know where you are, what part of the world you're from, um, and how you were first introduced to my channel. So this is Anas. This is his first week. Okay, so you see he's pretty, uh, you can see some hair there, but it's pretty sparse, right? Not a lot there going, all right? And then we jump up to his eight week. Huge difference. Look at them gains. Look at them gains, baby. And then this next picture, he doesn't really say uh, how long it's been since his last update. So I don't know what week this is, but he's looking very full. That's crazy. Full beard, looking good. Another beard, bro. Success story. All right. So if you want to share your success story or your progress, And I'll share it with the world, baby, or our little world. All right, guys. Anyway, that's all I got to say for this week. I'll see you guys next week. Week 89. Well, okay, I'm going to Colorado um, next week. So I'll try to film another video before I go because there's a good chance I won't have time to upload before that. All right. I'll be gone next, this upcoming Friday to the following Thursday. All right. So I may miss some workouts also. If you guys have been following my fitness journey. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining me. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.